I only have nine days left of 2015 and I have not learned all the math that I want to learn and I have not answered really any of my questions about math, but at least today I did make time to interview my mathematician friend Tony. So three interviews with mathematicians complete. Yes, I have accomplished at least one goal one goal this month. I never thought I would go out and interview people. It's a very weird thing, something I've never done before. It's fun. Everybody so far seems to think it's quite fun and I think it's fun and I like, I love asking questions so maybe I should be a journalist. Maybe I should forget about the software development idea and just be a journalist. Just stick with one of my original passions which is writing and asking questions. But Journalists don't really make any money. I think I would rather work part-time as a software developer and pay my bills that way and spend the rest of my time doing journalism as a hobby than spend all day making less money as a journalist and having no time for my own projects. This morning I did two hours of practice on Khan Academy, so check that off the list. I'm good on that. I've been sticking to that. A lot of others. So now I have two interviews to finish editing. It's much harder to, to edit a video of somebody else speaking than to edit myself speaking. By editing their words, I am potentially misquoting them or or you know, potentially giving the wrong the wrong emphasis or the wrong connotations and I feel really nervous about that. Um, it's a whole it's a whole other skill set how to interview people, how to how to ask good questions and how to find the balance between, you know, you want a candid response but you also don't want to make the person uncomfortable. Oh, and tonight I'm going to a 3D printing holiday party. So we're gonna make like Star Wars themed Christmas tree ornaments using my friend's 3D printer. Uh, but then like January is just around the corner and I don't know if I wanna do, okay. So mm, I have this crazy idea I've done math month. I definitely have too much unfinished unfinished business here to just give it up completely. I have too many unanswered questions, too many things I still need to practice, too many things I want to dive into. One month is not enough. What about a math year? What if I just made that the focus of my entire year? I mean, there are worse ways to spend my time, right? But then I also have this other crazy idea to do one topic a month for every month of next year and finally scratch that itch to learn more about like music theory and and art and design and photography and all this other stuff that has nothing to do with math and, and computer science. I mean, well, I can find a little overlap, but I'm really conflicted. Ah, there's just too much cool stuff out there. It's just too much cool stuff. What am I, I mean, it's a good problem to have. Too many interests, too many amazing things to try. I'm gonna spend a couple days um, with my family around Christmas, so while I'm there, I hope to do some thinking and, and I wanna talk to them about my ideas, get some feedback. Would, of course, always welcome your feedback. Oh, it's just uh, another day, so many days in a, row that, in a row now that I haven't done any real math, but gotta take care of other life things. I'm flipping between feeling sad and then feeling really happy and excited and feeling sad again and excited again. I'm thankful for all of it. it. All of this is so much better, so much better to feel happy and sad and scared and all these things instead of just feeling empty and nothingness like I felt back when I was depressed. I, I'm not depressed anymore. I'm really not and I, and I'm, and I don't think, I don't think it's going to happen again, at least not for a long time. Anxiety is still a big thing in my life, but somehow I'm more okay with that than depression. Depression was just like this bottomless pit. Anyway, yeah, so gotta go do work and stuff, and then I'm going to this 3D printing party tonight, and that should be fun, and hopefully in the next nine days I can have a little time for math. Math and family. That will be the theme. So uh, have a good evening, stay warm, and I'll see you tomorrow.